Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 424. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook from Magic Tricks 423 to 430. Hey, in this trick right here, we have a little table, and I just made a small table. You could have a much bigger table, <clears throat> so it fits on the screen. I made a small one. But we want to be able to select a name from this range right here and a month from this range right here and have conditionally formatted just those sales. We have a formula here that adds uh, a d with a dynamic range. So if I go here to uh, May, right? I want Joe's sales all the way to May. The, um, uh, this formula here is for a different video. All I want to show you is here is how to conditionally format this. Now this is going to be a little bit complicated, true and false formula inside a conditional formatting. So I'm going to build the formula down here. Conditional formatting, you can uh, highlight the range and then open it up. The formula gets stored in memory, but a true-false formula gets stored in memory and it gets copied down and over uh, just like it would in cells, but it's not in the cell. So we're going to build our formula here and see if we can simulate this. Let's go to March. So we, we need a true, true, true in these cells right here. I'm going to start right here. There's two conditions that have to be met. The f and they're both based on these drop downs. The first one is we can highlight this whole range here and say, hey, uh, find uh, whatever in this range right here, find this name. That'll be easy. We could say, hey, are, are any of these cells equal to Joe? And we'll lock it so that when we copy the formula over this way, it'll be locked. But when we copy it down, it's not. The tricky part is getting uh, multiple cells highlight. Because we could do you know, a, a similar formula for March that would highlight this one. But we need all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, columns. We're going to say, which column is it? and compare it to match. And we'll say, anytime the columns function is less than or equal to the match, which will say 1 to the third value, then highlight it. All right? And there's two conditions that have to come out true. So we're going to use the AND. AND function needs as many logical tests as you can put in, up to like 255 or something like that. Uh, and if all of them come out to be true, then AND will deliver a true. And to us, that goes to the conditional formatting. The first one, we're just going to say, hey, this cell right here, and I'm going to have to lock it using my F4 key one, two, three times. So it's locked going across here. So the whole row is asking the question, am I looking at Joe? But when I copy it down, I'll go to the next Joe. And is that equal to Joe right there? That's the item selected from the drop down. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock it in all directions. That's a logical test. Uh, comma. Actually, you know, we could uh, get rid of this and just see if this works. Control Enter, copy it down and over. And look, it's not working. One, two, oh, yeah, it is right there. But it shouldn't be true all the way. Oh, yes, it should. We will eliminate. For, so for that part of the true, it's true. When we add our second condition, these will be eliminated because we're saying column for March. We're going to say, hey, March uh, is the position of that, which is 3 less than or equal to our columns. Only these ones will come out true, not these ones. So these will be eliminated with our and. All right, I'm going to come right here and put my and right here comma, and then the second conditions, we're going to have to do our formula incrementer, which is the columns function, because we're looking up an item in a column. January, February, March is in a column. So we're going to have to say columns. And I'm actually going to type in B12 right here. So dollar sign B12 colon B12. This is an incrementer. As we copy it this way, it'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to say uh, less than or equal to. And then we'll use our match. The match function can look up a value. So we're going to look up our March, comma, the lookup array. is going to be this whole array right here. Actually, we need to lock these. I'm going to come here and hit the F4 key. And then I'm going to lock this in all directions too, F4, F4. So right now we're saying, hey, find that value. Well, match will give us one, two, the third a value, the ordinal position is 3, comma. Now the match type is going to be 0, because we're looking up a, uh, an exact uh, a word, that, and the, our list isn't sorted alphabetically. Close parentheses. That is our second logical test. 
close parentheses on the and. You can see our screen tip is being polite, so I'm going to put a close parentheses and then control enter. Now I can double click and send it down and over. And sure enough, you can see now that second part to our and be, turned these false, so that those are true. And watch, if we change this to say Sue, right? Now it's true down here, and if I change this to uh, April, and now all of these are true. Now, the trick to doing complicated or seemingly complicated true-false formulas in condition conditional formatting is literally to build them in the cell and prove to yourself that it's working. Because once we copy this, control C, escape, once we copy and paste it into format cells dialog box, it's, so it's stored in memory. And so sometimes it's hard to figure out what it's doing without doing this in the cells. Highlight the cells. Active cell is right there. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt O D O D. Delete. Uh, I had it there, I guess. Uh, and then new rule, formula, and click right here. In earlier versions, it's the first text box formula is. Control V, there's our formula. And I'm going to click formatting. Uh, fill, I'll do red. Font, I'll do white. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. And sure enough, now we have our conditional formatting. Uh, for a dynamic range. All right, um, we'll see you next trick.